Welcome back. As we wrap up our program today, I'd like to give each one of you an opportunity to share some final thoughts and to uh, highlight what we've learned about parasite control today. Brent, let's start with you. Well, before I give my final thoughts, I need to say hi to my three sons, Ty, Tori, and Tegan back home. Uh, and I would just uh, encourage producers with the success we've had using long range on our ranch for the various reasons we talked about today, that you have to, to try long range and use it uh, for the reasons we discussed. Very good. Dr. Morvick, what would you add? Uh, in, in using it, get the better bang for your buck in treating the cow. By treating that cow, you keep her clean through the grazing season, you impact her body condition, you impact that calf at side and better weaning weights, and then the calf inside with a better conception that's earlier for next year. So you get the best leverage, best bang for your buck by treating that cow in the that's spring. A great takeaway. Final mm -hmm. thoughts, Dr. Campbell? You know, it's a product I love to talk about. I really enjoy it because by using long range, it really helps their operation become more profitable. So if you, if you want to raise slicker, thicker cattle, then use long range. Um, to, to learn more about it, longrangelook.com mm -hmm. or contact your veterinarian, animal health supplier, or your local friendly Mary L rep. So. Very good. Thank you guys for coming to the show and sharing this great perspective and good wisdom with us. We appreciate that. And here's some important safety information as well. Don't treat within 48 days of slaughter, not for use in female dairy cattle 20 months of age or older, including dry dairy cows or in veal calves. Post-injection site damage, such as granulomas and necrosis, can occur. These reactions have disappeared without treatment. For additional information and video replays of stories from Mary Elm and the rest of Cattlemen to Cattlemen, visit our website, cattlemantocattlemen.org.